takes to get him on the ground. So. Oh. All right, that was our first call-in set. We saw three, three total. Yeah, yep. Uh, we got two. Uh, my shooting was definitely not the best. Uh, got it done. Eric, you got the other one. What happened over on your end? Yeah, I was just crawling out of a tree and I had this shotgun, just shot it right out of the tree, fell straight down. Nice. Uh, well, this is the first stop. Uh, three on the first one. That can only mean good things are in our future for the rest of the day. So let's hit it, boys. Who has a shotgun? Well, that was interesting. Just came up on uh, a few den trees. We were kind of scoping them out, looking for which ones are going to be the best. And uh, <laughs> Eric spotted two of them in this one right here. Then Neil, I think you're the one who shot both of them. Yep. First shot. In. <clears throat> he had the scope, so he had. Uh, we had some distance. Hey, I'm sure they saw us, but they didn't have anywhere to go. So Neil put a couple good shots on. We all chipped in a little bit because they were kind of running around and one of them got uh, placed right in the middle of this pond behind us <laughs> and Neil had to get a little wet. Getting good, job, good job on the spot, Eric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, four for the day. Uh, we're just getting started on this next piece of property so hopefully we can get some more. Well, I don't think we got much of that on camera, but Neil had himself a time. <laughs> when the world well, happened, man. Well, I kind of I had to come over here because there's too many good trees here, so kind of cheated a little bit further south, and these guys couldn't get it on camera, but I got a triple here out of the same tree. Yeah, that was uh, that was nuts. Two big, two big ones and one one smaller one, but we've had ourselves a day so far. Neil had himself a time here about five minutes ago. <laughs> really? So we got, I think, one more set, at least in this spot. Hopefully we can get some more. Uh, we're out here in southwest Iowa, almost in Missouri, and we are culling raccoons. Keith, do you want to let everybody know kind of how to do this? Yeah, I mean, it's something that anybody could do. You don't need a lot of equipment, and this is really good, I think, for new hunters and people who want to take kids, get a lot of action. And you could do it on public land, you could do it on private land. People don't want raccoons, so. Typically pretty... don't get turned down when you no. ask for permission to hunt raccoons. And it's a lot of spot hopping, a lot of action, and you don't have to get cold, anything like that. How, how do you find a spot? Uh, biggest thing is den trees. Uh, cottonwoods, silver maples, and down here today actually some pin oaks have been fairly hollow, which has surprised me. Uh, but that's what we've been keying in on with this property anyways. So you want hollow trees though? Hollow trees. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, when you look at the side of them, they'll be greased up because as the raccoons crawl up and down the tree, they, I don't know if they're urinating or Probably. defecating or what they're doing. Probably, Probably everything, both. little everything. But they grease up the sides of the trees. Uh, really, the only equipment you need, electronic collar. Uh, you want the sound coming from somewhere not near you. So set this off to the side and get it going. Uh, this is the Fox Pro Wildfire. This is a few years old, but um, basically the cheapest Fox Pro will do you. What else do you need? What kind of gun do you use? I like an open sight 22. Uh, it can get really quick and hectic, so being able to jump around and see them with the open sights really helps. And you're shooting a shotgun? I like having a 12 gauge. Usually use BB or triple B. Uh, sometimes you shoot in self-defense. They'll be running at you. They're coming for a fight most of the time, so you got to be ready. Uh, it's, I think this is pretty much the perfect tandem to have the 22 because you don't that it's a lot quieter and you get a lot more doubles and triples that way. But when you got one barreling down on you coming at you full bore, you want uh, you want something that'll stop them in their tracks. So that's sort of the 12 gauge comes in handy. For sure. That's pretty much it. Uh, I think we're gonna hit it some more. Yeah, it's uh, been a good day so far. I think we had five down. And we've seen a lot, we had a couple of them run away on us, but uh, it's been a good day. All right, let's do it. Let's go. So we found some trees up here that have some very visible holes in the crotch. Um, that's one big indicator the coons are uh, tending up in that tree, so we're trying to hit this. on the board with my own for sure. <laughs> it's been a tough stretch for me shooting wise lately, but uh, I got it done on a good one. We're only like 150 yards from our last place, but it is so windy. There's so many trees over here. I think we'll be all right, what do you think? I think we're gonna be good. We're just basically walking this creek bottom out to the road. We got half a mile of coon calling ahead of us, so hopefully it works out.